From their star-making turns in Twilight to their humiliating public fallout, Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart's seemingly perfect relationship has reached a dramatic turning point. But how can they find their Hollywood ending? We'll take you through it all, from the beginning to the end, on Hot Off the Net, LA edition. History of Robston. In 2008, Kristen Stewart won the most coveted role in Hollywood. Director Catherine Hardwick chose her to play Bella Swan in the film adaption of the best-selling novel Twilight. Hardwick and Stewart cast the role of Edward Cullen together, and it was actually Kristen who insisted on Pattinson as soon as she laid eyes on him. Once filming started, fans immediately began speculating on the pair's chemistry, both on screen and off. But Kristen was still involved with fellow actor Michael Angarano. As Twilight achieved massive success, Rob and Kristen grew closer both in public and in private. By the time New Moon went into production, rumors were swirling that Kristen had dumped Michael and onlookers saw her holding hands with Rob on the Italian set of the Twilight sequel. Catherine Harwick later confirmed that in the aftermath of Kristen and Michael's breakup, she ran into the open arms of Rob. Although between the second and third Twilight films, Robson willingly hung out in public. They refused to kiss or confirm that they were an item. Finally, in the summer of 2010, confirmation of the couple's relationship began to trickle out through Twilight producer Wick Godfrey and staff who witnessed the pair backstage together on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Finally, in October of 2011, just after shooting The Snow White and the Huntsman, Kristen confirmed to British GQ that she and Rob were an item. For the rest of that year and most of 2012, Kristen gushes about her relationship like never before, and Robson finally embraces their public image. Finally, we're all waiting for it. But on July 24th of this year, amid swirling rumors of infidelity, Us Weekly confirmed that Kristen Stewart did indeed cheat on Rob Pattinson with her Snow White director, Rupert Sanders, not good. Nope. Lots of unsavory photos leaked thereafter, and Kristen released a heartfelt public apology. Oh. Begging Rob to take her back despite her momentary lapse in judgment. There was relative silence for weeks from Pattinson, who distracted himself with the release of Cosmopolis. Once the press tour was done, there was little left to keep him busy, so Pattinson slowly began speaking with Stewart again. Kind of showed he was going through some tough times, though, because that movie sucked. <laughs> His friends weighed in, saying that he was so deeply in love, they imagined he would take her back and make her his wife, though their relationship would never certainly be the same. Eventually, it was confirmed that the couple would move back in together and that Rob had laid out a new set of rules for Kristen to follow if she wanted to keep his trust. And here we are. Robson has yet to fully reunite, but are expecting to do so soon. All appears to be well again with the Hollywood sweethearts. But will they truly be able to overcome this bump in the road? Mm. The final Twilight film releases this fall, and from there, even the careers of Robson are uncertain. You think it's a publicity stunt? The last movie. I don't know. Will they stay together? Gotta keep well, the fans happy somehow. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, that's it for today. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. And check back tomorrow for more of the hottest, most up-to-date entertainment news right here on Hot Off the Net. With LA edition. Steveston. Steveston. Steve Steven. I like it. It would be Steven. Steveston signing out. Alright, bye.